So they're on. Just sitting at the bus stop, minding my own business. On the phone. And this guy walks up. You know, the kind of guy you just don't want to sit next to you. Always the day, sits next to me, doesn't he? Like that, really uncomfortably close way. He's got these big, weird boots and, and graspy hands. You just, you don't know where he's been, you know? So you do, you do what you do, you smile. And you ignore him. I can't ignore him. He just keeps looking at me. Then all of a sudden he seems to get some sort of brainwave. Starts getting into his bag. I get a wee bit concerned at this point. Could be anything in that bag. I mean, he looks like the kind of guy that, you know, could be a murderer. So, I'm freaking out a wee bit, I'm not going to lie. And then all of a sudden he pulls out this, this lunchbox. And the only thing that's inside is a salad tomato. He just takes it out, picks it up, and just stares at it. It's, it's bizarre. And then as a wee look at me, as if, you know, <laughs> you know what's happening here. But I don't. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what he's going to do. So then he just starts, I don't know, talking in. You know? It's minging, it's disgusting, there's wee bits of tomato everywhere. The thing is, he just, he looks really sad while he's doing it. I don't understand why, why is he so sad? I bet it's the matter. Surely he picked to eat it. He's got these wee sad eyes and, and it's just pathetic. I worry. Mostly for myself, but, but a wee bit for him as well. Just, I feel dead bad now. Maybe I should say something, I think, to myself, but, but what do you say to a guy like that? You know what I mean? Uh, oh, here are, here are tomatoes are fruit and, and no vegetable. Then, all of a sudden, as quickly as it begun, he puts half the tomato back in his lunchbox. I mean, what's he, what's he doing? Is he, is he saving it for later? Is he, has he had enough tomato the now? He just puts it back in his bag. I just sit, absolutely bewildered, bemused. Once he finishes, he, he sits back. No, no content. I wouldn't say content, but but definitely finished. I'm mesmerised by this guy now. But then he ruins that by, by doing a smacking noise. That, you know, that... <coughs> clearing his mouth. And I'm revolted by him again. No longer interested. I'm just sick of this. I'm just going to turn away and get back to things. But he looks at me again. Smiles for the second time. And then, what he does next surprises me the most. He just stands up. He just walks away. He wasn't even waiting on a bus. No, he just walks away. The sole purpose of him sitting next to me was to eat his tomato. At what point in your life do you become that guy? At what point in your life do you become the tomato eater? Was he born that way? Was he always one of these unique freaks of the world? Or was, has he become that way? Could I become that way? Is there something in me that could one day sit in a bus stop and, and eat a tomato next to a complete stranger? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs>